Hey everyone, this video is on Millikan's oil drop experiment. Millikan's oil drop experiment determined the charge of an electron. His experiment involved the manipulation of electric fields only. This diagram is a simple representation of Millikan's apparatus. A chamber is divided into two parts. The first part, which contains oil droplets produced from an atomizer. The second chamber at the bottom involves the application of ionizing radiation and electric fields where the top plate is positive and the bottom plate is negative. In the top chamber, oil is atomized into individual droplets so that they can be analyzed by Millikan. When an oil droplet falls through into the bottom chamber under the influence of gravity, X-rays are used to ionize gas molecules by knocking out their electrons. These electrons from gas molecules are then donated to the oil droplets that manage to fall through into the second chamber. When oil droplets acquire these electrons, they become negatively charged. For example, if an oil droplet acquires 4 electrons, then it will acquire a charge of exactly 4 electrons. After the oil droplets have acquired electrons, Millikan applied an electric field whereby the top plate above the chamber is positively charged, and the bottom plate below the chamber is negatively charged. Since the oil droplets have acquired a negative charge due to the electrons, they will experience a force due to the electric field upwards. At the same time, they are also affected by gravity, therefore experiencing a weight force going downwards. Millikan adjusted the strength of the electric field such that the magnitude of the force due to the electric field equals to the magnitude of the weight force of the oil droplets. When these two are equal, the oil droplets will experience a net force of zero and therefore become suspended in the bottom chamber without falling any further. The strength of the electric field is given by the voltage between the two plates divided by the distance between them. And therefore, the magnitude of the force due to the electric field is given by QV divided by D. When the weight force equals to the magnitude of the electric force, Mg is equal to QV over D. And by rearranging this equation, we can make the subject of the charge of the oil droplet equal to mg times by d divided by v. In this expression, m is the mass of the oil droplet, g is the acceleration due to gravity, so here we assume that this is 9.8 meters per second squared, d is the distance between the two plates, which can be measured by Millikan, and v is the voltage between the two, which can also be measured by Millikan. So therefore, the charge of the oil droplet can be calculated by simply finding out the mass of the oil droplet. So the question is, how did Millikan determine the mass of each oil droplet? Millikan did this by switching off the electric field. When the electric field is absent, the oil droplets will be subject to the weight force and also air resistance going upwards. When the magnitude of the weight force equals to the magnitude of the drag force or the air resistance, each oil droplet will be falling at what we call a terminal velocity. This is when the oil droplet are falling at the greatest velocity possible and at a constant speed. The terminal velocity, when measured, gives information on the volume of each droplet. Given that the density of the oil is known to Millikan, the mass of each droplet is calculated by times in the density of the oil that's used by the volume of the oil that can be calculated by using the terminal velocity of each droplet. Afterwards, the mass of the droplet can then be used to calculate the charge of the oil droplet as we saw previously. Millikan repeated the calculation of the charge of an oil droplet many times for different oil droplets. And he recorded the charge of each droplet. This graph shows you an example of his results. Millikan realized that the charge of the oil droplets are all quantized meaning that the value of the charge were all multiples of a very small value. Millikan found the value to be minus 1.5924 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Millikan interpreted this quantization of the charge of the oil droplets to be due to the discrete or the specific number of electrons that were suspended in each oil droplet. He proposed that the total charge of the droplets depends on the number of electrons that it contained. In other words, if an oil droplet contained more electrons, then it will have a greater negative charge. But whatever the charge is, it has to be a multiple of a small number, and that small number is due to the charge of a single electron. Using this interpretation, Millikan found the smallest difference between the droplet's charge. 
So by looking at this diagram of the sample results, if we can find the difference in charge between oil droplets, that corresponds to the smallest value that the charges were a multiple of. And if we can find this smallest value, we can then find the charge of a single electron. Let's look at why finding the smallest difference in charge between the oil droplets will give you the charge of a single electron. Let's just say we've got three different oil droplets here. The first droplet contains three electrons, the second droplet contains four electrons, and the third droplet contains five electrons. Below, I've calculated the total charge of each oil droplet. Now, hopefully you can see the reason why they have different charges is due to each droplet containing a different number of electrons. The charge for the first oil droplet is due to three times the charge of a single electron. And the charge for the second oil droplet is due to total charge of four electrons. If we can find the difference between these two numbers, which happens to be minus 1.59 to 4 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs, this is due to the charge of a single electron because the two oil droplets are different by exactly one electron. If we do the same thing between these two oil droplets, we also find that the difference is due to one single electron, and that is the same number as we calculated before. This is why Millikan, by finding the smallest difference in the charge of oil droplets, that is the charge of a single electron. Millikan's experiment was therefore able to determine the magnitude of charge of a single electron. The experimental value at the time, if compared to the theoretical value known today, is fairly accurate. Thomson, in his own experiment, calculated the charge to mass ratio of an electron. When combining the results from both Millikan and Thomson's experiment, we can also work out the mass of an electron by dividing the charge by the charge to mass ratio. And this gives an approximate mass of 9.05 times 10 to minus 31 kilograms. Again, when this value is compared to the theoretical mass known today, it is also fairly accurate.